Hello again, YouTube. Sorry for the delay in publishing my latest video. I have come to a disappointing conclusion with regard to my chemistry experiments in trying to create the nucleotide bases from simpler molecules. Um, I've been reading different scientific journals where the researchers took different chemicals and reacted them to form different nucleotide bases. However, the yield on these experiments were measured in micrograms. This means that simple chemical tests to test for the presence of uracil, for example, simply won't suffice because the yield is too small to observe any kind of precipitate or chemical change. And so therefore, I will have to acquire a device known as a spectrophotometer before I can carry out any more experiments in trying to create nucleotide bases. So let me explain how a spectrophotometer works and how it will enable me to detect nucleotide bases in my test samples. A spectrophotometer is a device which is able to produce a range of wavelengths. In my case, it will be able to produce wavelengths from the ultraviolet region of the electromagnetic spectrum, which are very short wavelengths, all the way to the near infrared region. The spectrophotometer shoots different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum through the solution containing the unknown. At the other end is a meter which measures the amount of light transmitted through the solution. When you have an unknown chemical in solution, such as a nucleotide base, you can get a very good idea about the chemical you have by observing which wavelengths of light are absorbed most strongly when the different wavelengths are passed through the solution. And thus you are able to identify different chemicals present in your sample solution. It is necessary for me to acquire one of these before I proceed in doing other experiments which try to create nucleotide bases. But I will hopefully have access to a spectrophotometer in the coming weeks. So I would encourage all of my subscribers to be patient and I will most definitely come through. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already.